Alarmingly, the South Bronx consists of a large population of non-swimmers. But Bronx Works is looking to combat those statistics with their new Fall 2012 Aquatics Program and one of four indoor pools in the South Bronx. We welcome now Eileen Toey to director of the new program to the show, and we uh, thank you so much for coming and being with us. Thank you for having me on such short notice. Yes. Um, we're actually one of three pools, in the indoor pools in the South Bronx. Mm -hmm. um, and not many people know about our pool, so we would like to get the word out there because our program is great and we're doing really good things for the community in the South Bronx right now. And we understand that when it comes to the South Bronx, the South Bronx has that significant number of people who just never learned how to swim. Any particular reason why, do you think? <sighs> There's a number of reasons why. Um, a lot of uh, there's not a lot of affordable swimming programs for mm -hmm. inner city um, children. There's a lack of physical education courses in the schools. Um, like when we were growing up, our public schools would have pools in them and we'd go to swimming during gym class and that just doesn't happen anymore. There's no gym class in the schools anymore. The parents don't know how to swim. Um, the parents never learn. The parents are scared of the water, have this fear inside of them and they uh, don't want their children near the water, whether it's instructional swimming or not, whether they're going to learn how to keep themselves safe in the water or not, they're just not going to have them there because they're so scared of the water and they instill this fear into the children and then it's just a big cycle. No one ever learns. Mm -hmm. So Big fear, big phobia. Yeah. So uh, the program itself, obviously you said you got one of three actually indoor pools. Mm -hmm. So give us a little bit about this one. All right. So... <laughs> Our pool is, it's nice, we keep it well kept. It's um, a 20 yard pool, it's indoors. We're located on the concourse um, at McClellan Street between McClellan and 166th Street in the South Bronx. Um, we offer swimming lessons, we offer a swim clinic for more advanced swimmers, we have aqua aerobics classes, we have recreational swimming time. We have a lot going on in the pool actually. We have um, children's programs that take place at our sites. We have after school programs for elementary, middle school, and high school children and we actually offer the participants of those programs free swimming lessons because that's how important we think that it is that the children know how to swim. Mm -hmm. We want all of our children at our site to know how to swim in the pool and a lot of them do. Mm -hmm. When you talk about young people, and you said sometimes the parents have an adversity mm -hmm. to, you know, uh, you know, feeling about swimming because they just don't know how to swim themselves. Are you finding now that there are more parents or more adults, I should say, getting into these learn to swim programs? Or oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, when the children they see how happy the children are and how quickly the children are learning, how great they're doing in the water, and the children are like, "Mommy, come in the pool with me," and then, you know, the parents want to get in and play around with their children, but they can't because, right. but they don't want to be, you know, I can't, honey, I'm scared of the water. So they come in and they take classes themselves and they try to get over that fear and they learn how to swim themselves. It's great. And then everyone can have fun. Give us this from the exercise point of view, because people say swimming is so healthy. Give us a little bit about the health, the, the, you know, the health benefits to swimming. Swimming is the number one exercise that you can do. Um, it puts no stress on your body whatsoever um, and you use every single muscle in your body to move yourself through the water. Um, mm -hmm. It's a very different way of exercising, um, not like pounding the pavement or lifting, straining yourself, lifting weights or something. Mm -hmm. And we got a few pictures that we're showing mm -hmm. here. Share with us a little bit about that. These are some of my summer campers from this past summer um, taking swimming class in the pool. The kids too great. <laughs> They love it. They're so cute in the pool. Um, the blue caps, these are the uh, deep end swimmers. The red caps are still learning how to swim. Okay, um, so, you, so you got them broken, broken up by color so you won't yeah. be confused. So these are the red caps. These are the yeah. really beginners. Mm -hmm. There we go. Learning how to jump into the deep end and this is them playing around in the pool. Well, how many, uh, I guess, how many kids do you have enrolled in the program now? Right now, I mean, we have so many different programs. I probably, starting next week, will teach about 100 kids a week, mm -hmm. at least, how to swim in the pool. 
um, which is great, maybe even more than that. Mm -hmm. I'm still having people sign up, different programs coming to me to ask if they can have their kids come swimming in the pool. So um, hundreds, it was hundreds over the summer. Mm -hmm. So I learned, I got this family that's watching right now saying, listen, I want to teach my child how to learn how to swim yeah. and I want to do it right now. So what is the time frame in getting somebody learning how to swim? What's that, well, how long does it take them to get them acclimated to the water and finally to a place where we can say, hey, they're a swimmer now. Okay, you know, it's all about practice. Um, you can get in the pool, and if you practice every day, um, you can be a swimmer with the right instruction in three or four months mm -hmm. from not knowing how to swim at all. Get in the pool once a week, really scared of the water, it might take you two years to learn how to swim, <laughs> honestly. <Yeah. laughs> but, um, yeah, we make it fun in the pool. We make it so that the kids want to come back, want to learn. Our kids learn quickly. Mm -hmm. So as we see some pictures of those kids, we saw that uh, Eileen in the program and uh, the uh, aquatics program at Bronx work. And uh, there's only one of three pools in the South Bronx. And as we said, we started off the segment talking about the fact that there are only a few pools, or I should say a few pools that actually are out there, but not only a few pools out there, we also have the most number of, you know, people not really learning how to swim. And so you guys, do you find it to be a challenge or do you find it to be motivation given the fact that the South Bronx has these numbers and you're trying to improve these numbers? Oh, I think as the program is growing, um, I'm so motivated by uh, like the numbers of people that are coming in and the success of our program. It's just inspiring just seeing kids going from sitting on the side of the pool for half a year because they're so scared to get into the water to three months later diving into the deep end and with a big smile on their face. It's great. So give people more information. If they want to find out where they can find out about this program, what do they do? We have uh, the information on our website. It's www.bronxworks.org or you can uh, send me an email directly. Um, e <laughs> yeah, you can say that's why we told you, yep. All right, you can send me an email directly at e -E -T -O -W -E -Y at bronxworks.org, or you can give me a call at my office, and my phone number at Bronxworks is 718-508. Three zero seven one. All right, Eileen Tui, thank you so much for coming and sharing with thank us. Thank you for having me. All right, good to have you. Good to have you. I want to thank Eileen for coming on to the show. Now, guess what? If you want more on the aquatics program or to sign up, be sure to check out BronxWorks.org. And uh, of course, we'll continue to let you know as the numbers continue to increase. We just might bring Eileen back and have her share about the progress that's being made. Now, stay with us because coming up after the break, we'll be right back with the Father's Love. That's coming up next here on Open.